I wanted to compare a little bit uh, some of my impact on open source with yours. And obviously, like, you know, uh, my, impa my impact in open source is much smaller than yours. I have made things like Pass and Pint, but, um, you know, uh, they made some impact in the PHP ecosystem. It's not compared even with Laravel. But, you know, something I noticed along the these months is that sometimes we spend like a bunch of time, like months, entirely months, working on something. And then we put that thing out. Some of this stuff is literally for free. We had a bunch of positive feedback, but then that mean comment on Twitter sometimes can just totally destroy my day. But like, you have no idea. Sometimes it just hits me so hard that even my wife can just immediately notice, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, I wanted to just ask you like, on those very early days of Laravel, you probably got some of those mean comments as well, uh, which mm. was probably a minority, you know, but you got some mean comments. Um, you got a bunch of positive comments, but a, a little bit, sometimes people were are just mean with, to each other. And I want to ask you, like, how did you deal with that? Like, what is your personal filter for staying sane when it comes to uh, people mean in, in complaints, for example? Yeah, it did used to bother me. And like, I, I totally relate to what you're saying about like, it would just kind of ruin your day. And like, you could even, other people could even tell, you know, that you were like in a bad mood. Yeah. At the same time, I feel like it was so instrumental to Laravel's success because especially like in the early years of Laravel, like let's say the first five years where the PHP landscape was much more fragmented than it is now, like with lots of frameworks, lots of people sort of competing with different kinds of ideas and architectures and frameworks and how should we write PHP applications. And Laravel was, I feel like, still very, <coughs> it was very much seen as like the outcast by the PHP, let's say like establishment, like the older generation of PHP developers were not very receptive to Laravel <laughs> at the time. And I feel like that was so, it made me angry, but it also motivated me so much just to grind so hard and like, oh, yeah. just like, I worked until 1 or 2 a.m. One Like 1 a.m. was like an early night for me. You know what I mean? Like that was like, <laughs> oh, I guess I'll go to bed and like I'll feel great tomorrow, you know, because I'm going to bed at 1. Because I was just so motivated by like proving that Laravel was good and like the best way to do things that I, I honestly, you know, I, I feel like it was just very instrumental to Laravel's success in a way that if I didn't have like, let's say haters, I think hate is like a strong word, but like the criticism... Uh -huh that they were throwing my way, I don't think I would have felt like as like angry and motivated to work on it. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I don't know. Not everyone uh, reacts that way and definitely like can get you kind of depressed <laughs> sometimes. But oh, for yeah. me, I think it was helpful. And th there's been times where like, I almost miss it. You know what I mean? Like I miss, I yeah, miss when people, like, you know, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's yeah, just yeah. different now. And I kind of miss those days in some ways. Yeah. I feel like PHP is so much more chill now, oh, uh, which is great. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's, it's honestly probably better this way, but there is a part of me uh -huh. that misses like, oh, just like the fight of like grinding yeah, yeah. out, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. A little bit of the drama, right? Cause yeah. um, it's definitely not like used to be. I remember like probably oh. in 2018, 2019, you know, 2016, around that area, you know, it was like dr not drama every week, but at drama every month for sure. And uh, it's not like that anymore, uh, you know? Yeah. So I guess like your advice is that, you know, just uh, pro prove people wrong, right? Um, if, um, you know, if they, they, they say that your package or your library um, is not doing it right. You just prove people wrong by grinding more, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. And it's also important mm -hmm. to think about like where where the criticism comes from. You know what I mean? Is it mm. from your users that actually want to help you and like they're trying to give you constructive feedback, mm -hmm. or is it from people that like are never going to use your tool and like anyway, they're just yeah. throwing you know like bad vibes your way? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 